Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be daily general tarot reading for the collective July 21st, 2018 uh, June, excuse me, <laughs> 21st, 2018 So, uh, that being said, this is going to be a four card spread and the first card does expresses up the topic of the day here the second card that shows up the negative approach we could take toward the topic the third card shows the positive approach that we can take and we should toward the topic and the last one shows up the benefits we're gonna reap in case we do keep these couple of conditions here the negative and the positive approach in check so let's see about the topic here and that is going to be the ace of swords so we do have a day in which uh, we are going to have a very serious conversations with people most likely it is because we are going to find out certain information or a truth is going to be revealed to us this particular information or a truth places a uh, a certain you know situations that we do have especially with people that we are fighting very often here or uh, with a very big situation in a strictly new path also it is very likely that you at that day we will not be able to take it anymore you know it's just hit after hit we have been humbled about how the things are unfolding etc etc but not any longer it is uh, it is the similar situation where uh, you know uh, uh, people have been, for example, being smothered beneath the toe um, again and again and again at the end they just snap out, slam on the table and they just, you know, can't take it anymore and do something to improve their circumstances. So this is kind of the day that we're going to have, a, a day of uh, insights, a, a day, as I said, of information. Um, day you know of conversations so we can place a an accurate diagnosis and an accurate uh, judgment upon a situation in our life either into our career or either, either into our relationship which is vague thus far for example into your relationship you may be baffled of where the relationship is going you may be baffled by the actions of your partner you can't take it anymore you slam on the table and you basically confront them and say look is it gonna work out or is it not gonna work out and if there is a problem what the hell is the problem all right so uh, the negative approach that you could take and make the things very worse here is actually with the ace of cups do nothing now instead of confronting those people you know you may indulge yourself with the different activities which are making you which are giving you pleasure no different than people who does not want to face um, the problems in their life and they turn into drugs or different kind of uh, you know different kind of supplements or replacements of uh, the you know the poignant experiences they have to go through now people need to understand and this is even in the creed of tarot that there is no such thing as a life that it is a hundred percent happy and positive there is always balance and today if we don't um, if we don't face our opposition or if we don't face the poignance into our uh, enterprises and into our situation situations by confronting those that are mistreating us by confronting uh, those which are not giving us enough so we can hold, hold on to or those which has, which are not acting fair against us you know but instead we kind of like um, pretend you know that these things will not happen again and we just you know go out and party with friends or just play video games or whatever you know uh, that makes us forget that we have to face the actual problem while we deprive our, ourselves from happiness in the future because as I said there is a balance you don't face the the poignance you deprive yourself from happiness if you face it the happiness will find you one way or another with equal measures so that being said, this is the negative approach uh, that you can do by taking no approach whatsoever and deflecting the topic of the day. The positive approach, however, that will be the, the, uh, the Princess of Cups or the Page of Cups. So the Page of Cups is pointing to reassessing the, the, the positions that one is taking. And instead of uh, showing brutal and cold logic and cutting tongue when you do these conversations and when you find you know a truth or an information instead of using it ruthlessly uh, you may want to use it in order to make an emotional connection with those people you know for example if your boyfriend or a girlfriend screwed up uh, 
at that day you can say okay you know we are people it is what we do we do mistakes but sometimes you know out of those mistakes the most beautiful things happens so uh, it's kind of like it, it's very important what what kind of approach you 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 will take against those people you know and the best results will give uh, will give when you take a milder approach rather than being a uh, ruthless also the page of cups it is urging us not to be, um, I don't know the English word here, but rather not to be um, staggered by the minor problems here and the small problems, just for an example, uh, is, um, <clears throat> is the blanket red or blue, you know, uh, because you could, you could be pissed off because, for example, your, your partner with which you are living, it is not uh, taking off his shoes or her shoes when they come back home. Uh, this is a, a very petite thing, you know, and that should not be a uh, any prerequisite for making arguments about it. So the Page of Cups asks you more to be focused on the bigger picture here. And the bigger picture is, are you happy being emotionally connected with this person despite all those kind of habits they have which may aggravate you, etc, etc. Same goes uh, for your career, you know. Are you happy at the place that you're working at display, uh, despite that sometimes you're facing troubles with your co-workers or there is a co-worker of yours that seriously annoys you and they are working against you, etc, etc. If you do, then you have to confront those people even if you don't like it because if you don't confront them today they will continue to do what they are doing tomorrow and the results of all that in the long term guys that will be the queen of swords so it does look like that everybody will recognize that kind of what kind of an error they have done because the queen of swords is a person who uh, draws experience from the poignant experiences they have in the past that being said whatever you confront those people for alright uh, that will not be repeated again so if you set up an agreement or you have clear out um, kind of like an argument and disagreements with your partner in love you can be assured that the uh, I mean on the 21st of June you can be assured that these things will not happen again further in the future for what you talked about alright so make sure that you talk uh, for the um, as much topics as possible as well this card points that you will be able to find uh, how can I place it uh, the more accurate strategy to deal with those kind of people, alright? Because the Queen of Swords is also someone who is very capable of pushing things through. And what things we're talking about, these agreements and arguments. So you will find a, a very accurate strategy is how you push similar uh, disagreements and, um, you know, arguments moving on further into the future and in general that card here speaks that, you're, uh, that the respect people that have for you will significantly significantly increase based on the courage you showed at 21st of June to confront what others couldn't. So with that being said, this was uh, the Daily Tower reading for 21st of June 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.